and you just looked like an angel and I was like, oh my God, he's perfect for this role. Hi everybody. Hi Lisa, if... how are you? Good. It's so great to see you too. Congratulations on this movie. You. Um, you made me ball the whole time, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> but that means I love it, obviously. Um, yeah. You two, your characters obviously have to have a lot of chemistry, but your voices, your singing voices, you have to work together as well. And it's just like a perfect pairing. So when you went into the audition room, what were your kind of first impressions of each other? <laughs> Sabrina? <laughs> Our faces were like. Um, I I was I was really nervous because I was like, oh my gosh, like this girl is so talented. Uh, I hope she likes me. <laughs> um, but it was nice because we got pretty straight into it. Like we went, we probably exchanged like three sentences back and forth before they called us into the room to do the audition, and then we were in. You know, it. Best friends, be vulnerable, cry, sing. It was like. <laughs> Yeah, we were funny. crying in each other's arms before we like knew each other's middle names. Like, <laughs> it's it's what really a sentence. No, no, it's true. I I just I looked up a video of you uh, before I read with you, and you were you had the longest your hair ever was, and oh. you were playing ukulele, and you just looked like an angel. And I was like, oh my god, he's perfect for this role. And so even before I met you, I was like, I I love him. Um, so I was just so excited to, to hopefully be able to like play your best friend. Um, and then it worked out, man. I don't know what it is, but sometimes that's it's just... best friends. Funny how that works. <laughs> that works. Oh, I love it. Um, and this movie, obviously you are playing real people. Does that change your approach at all from, you know, when you're playing an original character to here, you obviously have things to draw off of from this person. You can watch videos of them. You can meet them in your yeah. case, Sabrina, like, how did you approach this differently? Yeah. For me, it was, you know, it's definitely different because uh, when you're playing a character that's made up, you know, there's a lot of creative freedom involved. And there still was that with, with these characters as well. But um, what was super important was making sure that we were doing the story justice and the family was feeling like they were represented in a way that uh, they wanted to be and, and in a way that would make them proud. So yeah. there were a lot of conversations that needed to be had between all of the cast members and the family and Sammy Brown, of course, and Amy Adamley, because we wanted it to be authentic and we wanted to tell their story in an honest way and uh, get the message across that they wanted to get across. And that was ultimately Zach's message of, of hope and love. Uh, and I think it was easy for our portrayals to fall into very sad, you know, it's a, it's a sad story, but overarchingly uplifting and joyful. So mm -hmm. we needed to find those moments and really understand the love of the Sobiacs and uh, the love that surrounds clouds in Zach's entire story. Exactly, yeah, I mean, for me, like obviously playing original characters are exciting and thrilling in their own right, because there's, you know, you're almost birthing that character and, and figuring out their quirks and their interests. Whereas like with this one, we had all those answers. We we had, you know, for me, I was so lucky to be able to spend so much time with the real life person that I was playing and um, weirdly become friends with her and uh, like weirdly find out that we were so mentally and like spiritually just like similar. Um, and I guess it makes sense as, as to why, you know, it happened. And, and I was living at the time that this movie was being made and same with Finn. Like, I don't think there's anyone else that could have played Zach so effortlessly and perfectly. Um, so, I mean, for me, I was just, I was so lucky to use Sammy as just like, you know, a challenge. I'd never, I'd never played a, a real person before and one that was, you know, kind of there and open and willing to give her heart and stories to me and, and share with me like, uh, you know, her relationship with someone that she loved very much. and. It helped all of us, I think, give an, a more honest portrayal of who these people really were. And Sabrina, you did have the opportunity to speak to Sammy, but for you, Finn, if you had that opportunity to ask Zach a question about, you know, how you did or this movie, what would you want to ask him? You know, I think the thing that I always wonder most is what he was experiencing behind closed doors that he didn't share with people. Because of course, my uh, uh, character version of Zach was built up largely uh, by the perception of, of his loved ones and you know who they were to him and uh, one thing that I, I wish I could have asked him is who, who are you to yourself like what do you feel in your soul is is your message that you want to share with the world luckily there are plenty of interviews 
uh, where he's asked those questions. Um, but you know, there's uh, there's a difference in vulnerability when you have a camera on you and someone's right. interviewing you, asking you questions. Um, it would have been great to get to know him as a friend to see how he behaves on just a day to day. Um, but I feel like his family and his friends were so in touch with with who he was. Uh, I got to know him like a friend, and although we never got to have that conversation, uh, I feel super connected to him, and I feel like I, I know Zach in a strange way. And uh, one of my favorite scenes in the movie is when uh, they hear the song on the radio for the first time. You both obviously have been acting, you're musicians. When was that first time, or at least one of the times that sticks out to you when you either first heard your song on the radio or you saw a poster for a show you were in or something like that? Uh, I was in some random city and I was like driving through and I heard my song on the radio. I think I was 17 um, and that was really crazy. Also because like even just the concept of like hearing your song on the radio feels like not dated, but it's it's never something that like goes away. That's a weird feeling that will just never go away. My favorite thing about that scene is because it was a re kind of a recreated moment from a Tom Everett Scott's movie, That Thing You Do, um, and, and kind of our ode to that scene in the movie when they first hear their song on the radio. And I got to scream with Nev Campbell, so that was also very special. <laughs> But no, I mean, like that was just, it's such, it's such a weird pinch me. You don't get used to it. It's like, you, you'll you never get used to seeing, I mean, at least me personally, I, I never get used to like seeing myself in things or hearing my songs. Like, it's just a, it's a weird thing. Yeah, I mean, that's just happening to me for the first time right now. So I, I've never been in a feature. Wait, it's before. I've, I've never been on, on posters or like heard my song on the radio. So. I mean, when the trailer came out, that was a crazy moment. I'm like, oh my gosh, this vulnerable experience that we all shared as people and actors is now being streamlined to thousands and potentially millions of people. It's a really strange feeling. And even just the other day, I was uh, driving down Beverly Boulevard and I saw a poster for Clouds and it was, it was the most surreal experience. I'm like, I drive down this street all the time and why is my face up there? It's so confusing and kind of a, a mind warp for me, but um, but it just makes me happy that we're able to share this story with people and that, uh, you know, what that means is that um, people are gonna be exposed to Zach's story and we're gonna be able to raise awareness for children's cancer and hopefully raise money for Zach's OEX osteosarcoma fund and find a cure. That's, that's the whole point of all of this. You got one life to live. What are you gonna do with it?